Hello guys, today we're going to do something a little bit different. I would like to see if I can install Escape from Tarkov on my Linux computer. See if it works, see the type of performance we could get, if it works. And uh, yeah, run, run some games. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, Escape from Tarkov has always been a, a game I had in, uh, in my heart. We, we did a lot of things with this game. We won a, a Twitch uh, rival tournament. I spent like thousands of hours like farming Ledex for you guys. So I'm like, it would be great if I could do that on Linux. So previous of this experience, I share my feeling about going back to Tarkov. And a lot of members of my community like <laughs> went back at me and were like, Air Max, you need to come back. We miss you. We want you to play this game. And deep down, I, I do want to play this game. Maybe not as hardcore as before, I don't know. But I would really love to, to play it again. So, can we do it? This is, this is what we're trying to do in this video. Let's go. And let's find out. So this is my desktop on Linux. And prior to that, like I've watched some video on YouTube. I already joined... Uh, Discord server dedicated to Escape from Tarkov Linux. I'm going to put the link in the description below. But the idea is really to go there on our own and try to figure it out. That's going to be what I'm going to try to do and see like how we can solve some issue if we can do them or if we get stuck and what are the alternative we can like alternative path we can go through. So obviously like what you need to do first is download the game. Makes sense. So log into your account on escapefromtarkov.com. Download the game. You're gonna get this launcher here. That's the launcher like I had when I downloaded it like a few minutes ago. Next, I think I'm gonna use bottles. Here you have multiple choice. You can go with lotteries, you can go with bottles. I, I like bottles those day. I think it's pretty easy to, to set up. So let's start bottles. If you want to install bottles and you are stuck somewhere. There is a ton of YouTube video out there. If you want me to do a video on bottles, I don't think it's required, but let, let me know in the comment below. I, I can do that for you. So we're going to create a bottle. We're going to call it Escape from Tarkov. We're going to set up the environment at gaming. It's going to create the bottle. Easy. Boom, it's done. Now we're going to go inside this bottle. I, I, I don't think we need to configure anything yet. I'm just going to run the install and see how it goes. So run an executable. You choose BSC, BSG launcher, this one, and you run it. So normally it should start to run. We'll see if we get into any type of, of issue, but I don't think it will. So choose the language, English. Yeah, okay, no problem. Battle state, yes. Desktop, no thanks. Okay, install. So yes, we start the computer now. Now I will restart the computer later. I believe you can, yeah. Okay, so first stop all process, yes. We're gonna reboot it. And now I'm gonna start this baby here. Finger crossed. A few moments later. Hmm, it doesn't look like it's starting, huh? Okay, I'm gonna try to change the runner and see what type of outcome we have. Um, I'm wondering if we also need to install more dependencies. <sighs> Man. That's a lot. If it doesn't work with this one, uh, uh, we're going to move to Lutris. Okay, so we installed everything. Let's start it again. No, it doesn't, doesn't even start, boys. Game does not even start. Okay, so this is not going to happen. I'm going to delete this bottle. Okay, and we're going to try Lutris. Escape from Tarkov. This installer will install Tarkov and take care of additional tweaks such as fixing mouse capture and ability battle high. If you have issue, feel free to ask. Okay, install. And we're gonna let Lutris do the job, okay? This one uh, seems a little bit... Uh, a, lit a little bit easier, I would say. A few minutes later. Okay. Installation completed. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this starts. I think it should be starting, but <laughs> it should. 
12 seconds later. Oh yeah, there is something he doesn't like for sure, but I don't know what it is. So we're gonna stop and restart it. Allez papa. Allez, let's start. It's like one of those old cars, you know, you try to start. And it just doesn't want to start. This is exactly where I'm at right now. Mm, let's try a different, different version of wine. A different version of a runner. What the? Did I see it? Select language. Okay, so this one is working. Like, I, I can't see it, but it's there. Come on. Yes. We did it. Okay, so English. Email login. So I'm going to do that. Give me one second, boys. Whoa. Did we actually make it? I just can't believe it. Oh, my PC just crashed. Oh, no, I did not. Oof. I thought I crashed like crazy. Okay, we got 20 gigabytes to download. Oh, man, I'm so excited just looking at this. Uh-huh. Just looking at this. I'm wondering what type of performance we're going to get. In Linux, I'm, I'm super curious. All right, almost done. The moment of truth. Is it going to work? Allez, papa. Allez, papa. <laughs> Can we get it? Now we're going to hit play. The moment of truth. No way. No way. What? What? What is this? <laughs> so which one are we taking? Wow. CPU is at 100% right now. I don't know why it's lagging like that. Maybe it's compiling in the back. All right, it's done. Yeah, we're going to go use it. We got bears and now we have goddamn scabs. Just stay focused, guys. Yeah, so he has moments like that where he's lagging like crazy. I don't know why. All my CPU are at 100% right now. Yeah, each time I, I selection a new sound, it's like going at 100% over there. On, on my CPU, I don't know why. So I don't think it's related to... The graphic pipeline shader, it's something else. I'm also using a custom version of Wine. I compiled myself, so it could be the reason why it doesn't work. But it also the reason why I was able to install it. What's up over there? Oh, never mind. Mm. What's up over there? Oh, never mind. What about Command? They just left us? I can't believe Command just up and left us here. Yeah, I like Josh. No way, man. Nice. What the fuck am I doing here? No, I like Josh better. Oh, never mind. I gotta stay focused. Yeah, I like Josh better. It's more my type of voice, you know? A little bit deeper. Deeper. Okay, here we are. Oh boy. Like, why is it slow like that? Um, let's see the settings real, real, real fast. <laughs> That's so cool to see my uh, my Linux device here. It's pretty fun. I didn't even check my character. I'm, I'm just jumping in. I have a lot of FPS. I can tell.
Man, the game is so fluid right now, like, it's, it's actually insane. Open. Sound is okay too. Oh. I think the FPS are super low, boys. Compared to Windows, like my first impression is like this is pretty low. I'm wondering if you can work on that to make it like you know a little bit higher, but. Okay, let's, let's try to do a, a normal run. See if we can get in or if we're gonna get kicked. It's actually cool, like the game is able to run on Linux. Um, it's it's showing that you can you can play any game on the platform. On the other hand, I'm like. FPS are not that great. So it's my first time. Maybe we could, you know, like start to tweak it and find ways to get more FPS. But it, it doesn't feel right right now. Pretty sure if we start it on Windows, we're gonna see a huge difference. Huge. Okay, so it's doing awaiting server response. My CPU is going at 100% again. A few moments later. It's weird also because my CPU is at 100%. But the temperature on my CPU are not even high. So I, I, I don't know what's going on here. Like something is wrong. The yeah, game is not crash watch. Sound is still playing. A few inches later. Now I start to be worried. <laughs> I start to be worried. Just been like what, like two minutes at least? Come on. What's going on here? So I, I know like some of the game on Linux, they need they need to um, process and generate some shaders. So I'm thinking like maybe this could be it. Hmm. But it's, it's pretty long. Like it is pretty long. It should be way, way faster than that normally. Like, way faster than that. I don't think we are going anywhere, guys. It's just painful because... You think how easy, like, some of those games are... You know, how easy to install they are, like, like Apex, for example, it's just like, boom, you install it, and then you, you try to... to run this, it just doesn't run. Okay, factory, let's, let's try again. Oh, found it. Okay. Okay, awaiting server its response. All my core at 100% right now. It just started at this moment, so... Yeah, it's just the game. The game just, just can't handle that. I can't load into a raid. It's not I'm getting kicked by Battle Eye. I just can't load into any raid. So I'm, I'm not interested at playing offline. That's a fact. And yeah, if it doesn't work like this way, it's just a no-go to me. It's actually fun to see you can actually run the game. But like... Playing offline is just not worth. 
Man. I thought we got them this time. I thought we'll be able to play it. So I guess the only solution for me, if I really want to play this game, is to install it on, on Windows. And then uh, stream it from Windows. <sighs> okay, well... Guys, we lost this battle, but we didn't lose the war yet. Thanks for watching. I guess I'm gonna make uh, another video soon, but it won't be about Escape from Tarkov on Linux, because you, you see the result. It just does not work. So maybe in the future, um, our friend from Battlestale game Nikita is gonna think about Linux user and implement a way for us to to use the game. But until then, it's, it's just not happening. Guys, thanks for watching. If you want to play other game on Linux like Apex, I made a great tutorial. I'm gonna put a link in the description like and, and there. Thank you very much. Have a good one and see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.